How do we name this molecule? Well, this is a cyclic molecule, and the very first thing that we need to identify here is which functional group is going to have the highest priority. In this case, we have our ketone, and we have an alcohol as two functional groups. An important thing to remember here is that the carbonyl has the higher priority than the alcohol, which means that our numbering has to start with our carbonyl. So this is going to be my carbon number one. Then we are going to number our molecule in such a way as to give the smallest possible numbers to our substituents, which means that next we are going to go clockwise giving numbers two, three, four, five, and six. Now, the substituents that we have in this case are as follows. We have the propyl group over here, then we have the chloro group, and we have the OH. Normally, OH is going to be an alcohol, and we would use OL as the ending. But since OH is not the major functional group in this case, instead of the ending, we are going to use the prefix form, which is hydroxy. And by alphabetizing our substituents, we are going to get 3 chloro, 5 hydroxy, 2 propyl, cyclohexane for our parent, and on the first carbon we have a ketone, so we're going to add the ending own. So we have 3-chloro, 5-hydroxy, 2-propyl, cyclohexane, 1-own. Easy peasy.